We've arrived at the Holy Land. Toothpaste that you use for cock. $237.09. Is it gonna be salvageable? It's like Blair Witch Project. Just west of this lock. Whoa! Just keep looking at it. I'll go turn it on. No, 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 no. Think about the whales. Remember the whales? Don't worry about that. You can poop and wash your hands. Why would you recover perfection? <laughs> Here, you know how to read. This makes my arm so sore. Looking good, honey. Look like you've been working. You got a little spot of paint on you. Thicker than them girls with the Dollar General. You're too stinky. He is the nosiest goat on earth. So we refinanced the house. That's gonna hurt the envelope. OMG. Ah! How much can you spend on a $1,200 camper? Four thirty-four, I think. You always wanna throw them in your driveway. I'm trying to fix. What are you working on? Risk it for the biscuit. Give her a little. Oop. Oops. That's unfortunate. Okay. Cutting your toenails with wire cutters. Yeah. We're not torquing head bolts here. Oh, we got a nice surprise here. If anybody asks you to seal their RV roof one weekend, don't do it. You can do it. That sound right to you? Mm -hmm. But that was harder than the ACT. Working on the old poop shoot. Sometimes I cut corners. And all our poop go flying down the interstate. Would you just look at it? I'll sleep on mm -hmm. the table. We got the flux capacitor. I take back everything I said about my wife's family. Little bit of nicotine. Oh, genius. Let's void some warranties. We can heat up some chicken nuggies. He's ready to go camping. Hey, crooked toast. So we can keep all the bought air in. Have you been on Pinterest again? Listen, you can't put flex on everything Why? fancy. Why? That's what it's meant for. You live in America and you believe commercials? Hey, you believe sure. politicians too? This stuff, and it's only $75 for it. Look at that. They're cheating us out of a quarter of a gallon. What's the world coming to? And this is silicone. But the silicone is four times more expensive at most. You can't. You know there's like flex seal in a gallon. Is there, I don't, I don't think there's a flex seal only aisle here. I think it's with a paint. Okay, let's go look at flex seal. Our pop cutter, our waste tank is three and a half. Why, don't, why does this say three inch? And then it measures three and a half. So we should get two of them to couple to that, I think. I don't know. Sounds good to me. Sounds good, where's the flex seal? <laughs> where's the flex seal? We've arrived at the Holy Land. If I had a dollar for every time Ralphie said flex seal, it's $109 a gallon, baby. What? That's more expensive than the silicone works. stuff. It actually works. Oh, gosh. Instead of your, like, toothpaste that you use for cock. <laughs> That's only five feet for 15 bucks. Okay, so after dealing with the flex seal, man, we decided to go with this because it's about a bazillion times cheaper. Do this acrylic coating on there, and we got some acrylic latex caulk, and we're gonna get some of this Elastical and try that and see if it works. It's like a hundred bucks instead of 500 bucks. Hey. Sold. Sold. So we'll have to come back and get whatever we're gonna do for the ceiling, but we'll just get the roof sealed up first. That's the most That's important the main thing. thing. Main thing is not to get excited, I heard. I'm not excited, so. That's what Scott says. It was $237.09. Oh, God, the envelope. You're not getting no darn Nike Swoosh yeah. basketball. <laughs> they better say great value across it oh, if you're getting the basketball. So we probably need this extension cord and that adapter to go from 50 down to 30. Hey, well, that ain't faded glory. Okay. Just essentials, right? $236. Okay, so you're gonna start ripping it down? Yeah. I would cut it along the edges where you meet these edges mm -hmm. and pull down these strips that hold it and uh, you should be good to go. We'll see what's under it. Mm. Or you will. <laughs> PPE. Exactly. <laughs> All right, good luck. Thank you. Squishy. That's, that's promising. Well, we just need more thumbtacks. I don't know I got them stuck in there so good. Man, you've been working, haven't you? Golly. Is it gonna be salvageable? We're gonna have to replace a bunch of stuff. So that's like that's like the headliner in a car. It's like that foam back stuff that a car headliner has. But this paneling's not black and rotten. One of Rocky's babies got out and can't figure out how to get back in now. It don't matter what you do, they get out, don't they? Oh, Scooty ran them back in. Good job, Scooty. Is not funny. I like this lighting. It's like Blair Witch Project. <laughs> You just been pulling the outside layer off. Just wait until that bull steps across that fence. Scooby will tear him up. Yeah, you got him, didn't you? You got him. That's ingenuity.
Think you got it? I think I'm done for tonight. Done for I have to me. hit it tomorrow. <laughs> a different color. Being good today, Rocky. Hmm. Oh, I know Granny's being good. It's the next morning. You kind of see some of my destruction in here. I'm gonna get some of this mess cleaned up. Here's some of our mess. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit. Man, you got it vacuumed out, didn't you? It's a little bit better. Yeah, it looks a lot better in here. Here, And this must be our fresh water tank. So we're gonna put some water in it and see how it does. And that's our fresh water pump. So it rained really heavy again. Just west of this lot right here, we have a wet spot. So I gotta look up there about that. It's wet right in front of this vent between it and the AC unit. You can definitely see a little bit of sag to that roof where the AC unit is. Uh, and we got water right here around that antenna. So gotta get that off the roof. It's good, Dad. It's the first thing you bought, you finally like something that we bought. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be painted pink. Oh, you want it pink? Okay, okay. Oh, duly noted. I'm gonna get up on this roof and take the cover off this AC unit and see why the fan's not kicking on. See if we can figure anything out. I think the foam is helping hold that. Oh, look at that. Whoa! Why is it on? I didn't know it was on. Why would you have it plugged in? Well, I wanted to see if it worked. Man, if it is that easy, that would be awesome. I was thinking it might have something jammed up with the motor, but why don't you go unplug it? <laughs> we'll start over here. Is it blowing down in there? Cool. Can you unplug it, Squeezy? Good job. So we are definitely gonna be pulling up what they've done here with the great stuff foam and get all this junk out of here. So we got some caps at Rule King for our vents up here that are missing. We really don't want to go with coffee cans. Look like they go inside the pipe like that. Oh yeah, perfect fit. So our fan's blowing good down here now. So let's turn this switch back on. There we go. So that should be running the compressor and the fan now. Feel that. That's crazy. We have working AC, I think. It's really cold now. Oh wow. Feel that, Ralphie. We got AC. I cannot believe that. 31 years old and it still works. And it was stopped up up there? Yeah, something was stuck in that fan and now it's blowing. So we have AC, I cannot believe that. It's very cold actually. actually. You getting it cleaned up, Squeeze? It's very cold. No, it's very cold actually. Like that's gonna save us over a thousand dollars. Cause if you had to buy a new one, it's over a thousand dollars, yeah. You hear me, Squeeze? <laughs> Let me know if it makes bad noises and I'll come turn it off. And that has just made my day. I never thought that thing would kick up and run that good. Just keep looking at it. I'll go turn it on, okay? Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, stop. <laughs> okay, the tank was empty. Wait, why does it have water in it? For what? For our sinks and stuff. Oh, I can see. Fine. I don't see any leaks in the tank except for this when you're filling it. I think we're pretty full. You can shut it off now, Ralphie. I knew it. I knew you'd have to mess with it. Okay, let's not waste our water. Think about the whales. Remember the whale? The one on it says water pump. Oh yeah, she's pumping. Where's she pumping too? Try the sink. That's the water in the tank. I wanted to try the sink. Look at that. the pump's on. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, it, it has a little leak. Don't worry about that. Nothing to worry about. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing is over delivered. It's really surprising. For a $1,260 motor home, if we can fix the leaks and we can get a generator on this thing, we'll be gold. It's pretty solid. Honestly, it's more solid than I thought. You can poop and wash your hands, that's a fact. So we're gonna measure our Isco cooler. Go and check out their website. Use promo code SLEEPERDUDE for a discount on your purchase. This thing will run off 12 volts or 110. We got mom on the measurements, it can't be wrong. 28, 21 inches. Oh, wow. Whoa! That thing was totally black before. You did a great job. It is ice cold in here. It's so cold.
36. So it would be like middle of the table if you put it against that wall. 21. Yeah, so it would be just past this. So you can walk through it, and that could be a seat. You could use it as a seat, buckle a kid down to I it. I bet that some of the cushions on the other RV would on top of it. Oh yeah, we got those cushions in the storage van, don't we? Yeah, I could probably recover. Why would you recover perfection? <laughs> They're beautiful. We would never get her to work if that ACU unit didn't start working this oh, morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She it would never have been in there working. Yeah. Your girl's following you. So we got two white cushions here and then we have two beautiful green ones. Take these, these are the primary ones so here. What we'll do is we'll take the brand new casings we've got for that one and put on here until we get the little one done. Okay, so I clean out every single cabinet. Oh, you clean all this them? one, that one. You got all that cleaned out? Not the prettiest. I got all this to on this. Need to work on Awesome. Good job. It looks so much better. You did good, Squeeze. Half a day now. This thing's still blowing ice cold, so that is awesome. But what's not so awesome is we have a pretty good leak here from our fresh water pump. It keeps seeping down, and every few seconds or so, it kicks back on and sprays out a little bit more water when it kicks on. So we're gonna have to do something with this. See that right there? Every time it kicks on, we're harbor freight. I'm thinking about getting this inverter generator. It looks like it's pretty quiet. Yeah, I think if I take it off the frame and take the fuel tank off of it and run it off our fuel tank, it can fit inside that box, I believe. Okay, I decided to pull the trigger and get this one. Yeah, I wanted to get the inverter one because it seemed like a better option. So maybe this will work for us. That's ingenuity right there. You shouldn't let me go to harbor freight by myself. What'd you do? What'd you get? So I bought a big boy one, but okay. I'm gonna have to take it apart and make it fit. Like it's not gonna fit the way it comes in that box. We're gonna have to modify it to make it fit. Oh, well. What are you gonna do to it? I'm gonna take it off the frame and take it's the fuel never tank ever off. It's gonna look like it's supposed to ever get. No, it's plastic. never, but it, it'll, it'll probably work. Here, you know how to read. Oh, there's your RV adapter. So we only have 15 inches of height is our, our issue. I believe if we modify some of the floor in that thing and take the fuel tank off of it, I believe we can make it fit in there. God, this makes my arm so sore. So take out these things and that happened. <laughs> okay. See if we can get this out. Okay, so I think I got all the screws out of this that come out. Some of them were rusted and I couldn't get them out. So, okay, so that came out. Wasn't too hard. So let's just clean up some of this mess and see what needs replaced. So the braces are still there. This stuff is pretty solid, really. So we just need to make a new top for that. Oh yeah, that was totally rotten, completely, huh? Oh, you got that cleaned up. Mm -hmm. It looks way better in there. Okay, Ralphie, I'm gonna have you change some of these locks out, okay? Look at that. Look how much better that fits. Okay, continue on, sir. Rocky, that is not helping. So I got all the little cabinet doors off here, and I don't know what we're going to do all this mess. Now that I got the cabinet doors off, I'm going to take them out and sand them so we can get them painted. Okay, so Squeezy and Rafi cleaned and sanded our handles, and I'm gonna give them a little new color. I'm gonna do some sanding in here on these cabinets with them already up there. Hopefully, just to save some time, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna get the paint sprayer and uh, see how this works. We got these sanded and dusted, and uh, me and Wawa's gonna see how it sticks on here. We're gonna use a Kilts white paint that is a mold and mildew resistant paint, so hopefully, it works good. That's gonna look a lot better. Yeah. Like a brand new camper inside. I don't know about that. So Sleeper Dude is editing video and I'm on top of the camper gonna scrape some of this icky goodness off. I'm on my belly because I'm worried I'm gonna fall through this roof. So we'll see how this goes. Looking good, honey. 
Went with curly hair today? You haven't fell through yet, have you? Moldy and nasty, isn't it? Yes. Like they've been cracks and they've like gooped up over cracks. Ooh, that's not good. This is unfortunate. Yeah. I'll be out to help you shortly. I'm really surprised at how much water this silicone stuff holds inside of it. It's like once the water gets in there, it traps it. Look at all the water it's holding in there. He just loves to sit over here. This is where I always find him nowadays. He loves sitting over here on the casings. Huh? How's it going? Look like you've been working. Those look like things that could help, huh? Yes. My gosh. So it looks like it's plywood from here over, and then out in the middle is insulation and That's paneling. So How is insulation and paneling going to hold up an AC unit? It's not. There's We're no probably going to take that thing off, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You only got one more left? Yeah, just one more. Awesome. You got a little a little spot of paint right there. You got a little spot of paint on you. So I finally took a break from editing to come up here and help Tosh with this. And it looks like we got Phillips screws. This is like one of our worst leaks right here and around the AC unit. So I'm gonna try to get these screws out. If not, we may have to cut around this thing. It's rusted. Yeah, they're not grabbing nothing really. Okay, I think we finally got it. We just gotta get disconnect that crank from the bottom. That's what's holding us now. Most of the screws, we just left them in there because they weren't even holding anything. Well, the hole's not as big as I thought, but this thing is so flimsy. I cannot believe it's just like insulation and paneling. I guess we're gonna try to scrape all this goop off here and I'm gonna have to somehow patch this up. This stuff is so gooey and thick. I don't know what this product is, but man, it is so gooey. Just, they got it caked over this. And then they drilled a new hole in the middle of it. This could be our big leak here. Look at all that. That was just over that antenna hole. How thick it was. That was thicker than them girls with the Dollar General. Oh, Lord. So before I get to tack on that roof, I'm gonna go ahead and try to charge the AC up on this thing. And it was R12 from the factory, but it's got R134 conversion already. So if you're wondering where your second fitting is, if you have one of these, it's way under there. I didn't even know where it was. I had to look for it. But we're gonna pull a vacuum on this thing first. So let's see how much pressure it has in the system. I'm gonna say it has nothing. Yeah, looks like zero. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is turn the vacuum pump on. And the reason you do that is it pulls all that air out of the system and actually if there's any moisture it it boils the moisture out of the system because water boils at different temperatures depending on the pressure so if you pull a vacuum on water it boils at room temperature so that gets the moisture out of the system and we'll leave that on for probably 30 minutes or an hour at least so it should start pulling down if it just stays on zero when you turn the vacuum pump on or just barely below it you got a big leak over 20 inches of vacuum now. We'll just leave it there, leave the pump running, and we'll come back to this later while we're doing other stuff. I'm gonna cut out a patch panel out of this aluminum I've got here, and we're gonna make a square to cover this hole up, and then we're gonna goop it up and screw it down. That should be about the right size to cover that one. We'll caulk it and screw it down. Now I'm gonna move on to making one for this one. All right, I think that ought to do it. I got all that cleaned out now, all that old seam sealer. And since we don't have the refrigerator that needs to be vented here, we're just gonna cap this off as well and cover it over with aluminum, put some new plywood in there. I've been scraping around on this while I was up here and I think this thing's gonna be a no-go. So I believe we're gonna have to either replace or just fill in this hole for the skylight because it is really delaminated right here. This thing is in such bad shape. You can see where it's just peeling up everywhere. This thing's just garbage, unfortunately. So we've had this run now for probably 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. We're gonna leave these valves shut and see if it holds a vacuum system. If it does, then you know, basically you don't have a big leak. Okay, I got my patch made for this right here. I'm gonna screw it down as well, but first we're gonna cut out some plywood and fit in here. I think she gets bigger every single day. It's like, it's just like, it was like. Hopefully. She's a good pig though. I don't know if I've ever fed him pizza crust. Pickle it? 
Mm -hmm. a good boy. I just found there was a little tiny screw here. And that was what was holding that thing in place. Look at it. It's going so much better now that Ani has protected that. Of course, Rocky's going to get in it. You're too stinky. Mama said no goats no, living in the we're camper. Not no out in here yeah, either. no more raisins in the motorhome, Rocky. He just, he just knocks everything out. He loves to, to go so through nosy. stuff. He is the nosiest goat on earth. There's no animal crackers in there. So we refinanced the house and got enough money to buy one sheet of plywood to fix this thing. And I want to cut out one to fill in that refrigerator hole. He's in here like, we're supposed to be working on cars in the garage. What are you doing? <laughs> that is a good boy. Man, first try, that thing fit right in there. So here's what we're dealing with in the bottom side. It looks pretty flush. So I'm gonna measure all this, cut out a piece that will fit against this and will give us some structure to hold this thing up. We're about 10 inches by 25 and three quarter. And we... I knew it. I knew you'd end up in the driver's seat. Probably should have checked this earlier. An AC compressor is locked up, so it's gonna need an AC compressor, it looks like. Oh man, it broke loose. Man, if this thing works, this thing just keeps on over delivering. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to charge this thing. It says right here the 4.5 pounds, so that's a bunch. So if that's true, it's gonna take six cans of this to fill this thing up. That's gonna hurt the envelope. This thing has been killing the envelope. I should be able to fit this thing up in here now and screw it to it. All right, we got it screwed. I ran some inch and a half screws into here to tie it all together and give it some more strength. We put some uh, acrylic latex caulk around that. Now I'm gonna clean around this with the denatured alcohol and we're gonna screw the uh, aluminum panel down over it. So I'm gonna caulk this thing like crazy and screw it down. So hopefully that'll seal it up. I think a silicone product would probably work better, but that would take more of my envelope. So we're not using that. All right, I'm gonna need two small ones now, and hopefully this will fix our big leak we have in the front. Got our denatured alcohol again. Or at least this one's little. Our cable wire came through here, so I put some caulk down in the hole. I right, goop this up too. You're getting it, huh? Slowly but surely. I guess I'm gonna get up here and help you scrape. Try to get this that whole thing scraped. Right. Well, that's looking a little bit better. We still got quite a bit of scraping to do, especially on that side over there. Oh, if you got this, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can unbolt this AC unit. I think it's just these four bolts that sandwich this thing in here. And then we'll have to... Ooh. Incredible. How long could that bolt be? That is way longer than expected. Is that everything? You gotta squeeze the sides on that. I cannot believe that the only thing that holds this thing up is the little thin aluminum on top Looks like a layer of paneling, some insulation, and another layer of paneling. How is that supposed to support an AC unit? Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. OMG. Ah! That's 
lot of weight out of the middle of the roof. You almost wonder why I don't put them on the side. If this thing was here, it would be a lot more structurally sound, you know? Now this should be interesting to clean up here. This ain't really bad to get up. That great stuff foam doesn't really stick, does it? See, I found silicone up here, great stuff foam, and then I think the white stuff on top of the gray stuff is acrylic latex, I think. And I don't know what that soft gray stuff is. Some of you RVers will know. That cleaned up pretty good so the three things we got left to do is figure out what we're going to do about this so i thought about getting a flat piece of plexiglass and putting in there we got to get some better structure under this thing and we got to finish digging out the rest of the caulk in some places and then we should be ready to reseal this thing and be done with the roof you don't want to keep it no. rather have ac than a sunroof yeah. we're headed back to lowe's we're going to get some paneling for the ceiling some more caulk we gotta get some paint, a couple of things. We gotta get some more stuff from Lowe's, so we're headed out to get that now. And you're good at that, Squeezy. Something like that, that's a quarter inch. That might work right there. We're gonna do the quarter inch throughout that whole flat part of the roof, and the front bow, we're gonna do the five millimeter. And then we got the particle board stuff to do our countertop. And of course, we went with the cheapest ones. Of course, why not, you know? All right, why don't y'all get out from underneath there? How about that, so I can push. Just the essentials again. How much can you spend on a $1,200 camper? Yeah, I feel like every time we went to town, we spent like 500, 600 bucks. And they got the weather strip we ain't gonna need for the AC unit. It's only six bucks. How much do you think? Four and a bucks. 434, I think. Good guess. Can we get something to eat? Burger, Burger King. I haven't went to Burger King. Taco, Taco Bell, Bell is diarrhea, pure. Are you happy now? Yes. Yeah. Right, this is all the stuff we bought in the last couple days. So just that alone, is half the price we pay for the camper. So I'm gonna get a run in total for you guys and add up exactly what we have in this thing by the time we get it, you know, campable. So here's our old skylight. It's cracked up worse than the foundation on my first house. So I'm gonna try to just drill some pilot holes and screw this thing down the way it is. Yeah, that's gonna fit nicely, huh, Ralphie? Yeah. I probably should have mentioned it earlier, but if you're pulling screws out of the roof, you always wanna throw them in your driveway. Okay, we got it all scraped and brushed and cleaned with denatured alcohol. Ralphie's gonna put us to bead. Yeah, like that right there, perfect. Well, there we go, we got it all sealed up. You know, that was $14 instead of 140 for another one of them. It is good enough for who it's for and what they're paying. So you can see the dip in the roof where that AC unit was. And right here, our roof is super weak where it's busted right there. So I'm gonna work on getting this structure built up from the bottom side. Then we're gonna reseal the AC unit and put it back in. So we're hoping that this will give us a little more structure than just thin paneling wood. This is our, what we had to go off of. Man, I wish you didn't have angles at the back. And this is what we're dealing with here that we're trying to fix. So my plan is to put that quarter inch plywood under here and then put probably some of my three quarter plywood on the wall to hold it up. What are you working on? Um, nothing. <laughs> I kind of guessed at these angles right here. We're just gonna cut it and see what happens. Okay, there you go. We risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> we'll see if uh, this thing fits or if we just ruined a $30 sheet of uh, whatever this stuff is. Surely we plywood. can use it somewhere else if it's not exactly. Well, I did not think that was gonna work. You didn't think it would fit? No. You didn't think Dad could do it? No. I know he could, he might could. It's, it's a little shy right there and everywhere else it looks good. It looks like our angle was off just a little bit because I guessed, I just guessed at it. I figured this would be easier than trying to measure this one out. clean off the bottom of our AC unit now. Looks like we got some flex seal up here from somebody else and some great stuff. And we're gonna stick all this back together. So the way I believe this works from looking at it 
is this track here which there's a little track in the bottom of that framework is where the moisture of water comes out and drains and somebody had filled that up with great stuff foam so i'll clean that track out so it can drain the water off i'm probably also going to put a bead of caulk around it so if you don't already know this you can cut your caulk here and you can punch a hole through it with this nail right here and then you're ready to go so i'm just going to give it some beads of this construction adhesive all over it we're going to put some one inch screws as well to hold it up here and there are you just going to cover it all over yeah i'm just going to make oh i went right in the hole didn't i <laughs> so what are we going to get this on when we try it <laughs> i thought we we're going to get this all over us at some oh point Lord. So we got a bow it in the middle well, we haven't test fit the wires so hopefully they're in the right spot <laughs> Sound terrible, didn't it? It did. They're good? I think so. Obviously, it would look better without the screws, but we really need something to hold this. It's really in bad structural shape. This is going to support our roof because we have this is the worst spot in the whole roof, is right here. What is, Give her a little. Oh, oops. It's unfortunate. Oh, you did that. Oh, there's like a... Oh, yeah. Fixed it. <sighs> Back there. So that should hold our roof up way sturdy where we can even step right above that. I'm going to put some construction adhesive on it just to help out. Perfect. Okay, I think we got what we're going to do here for now. Uh, now we're going to go up and put the AC unit back in. And that way it will clamp all this together before the glue dries. What are you doing? Cutting your toenails with wire cutters? That's ridiculous. I've done it before. So I'm going to put a support post in here before we put the weight on this with our old curtain rod. That's going to be so perfect when we get done. That will support us until we get everything installed. I feel a lot better about walking around up here now. Okay, I'm going to also put some caulk in the gaps here just to help give it every chance it can to seal because we don't want to leak around this. I'm going to put a bead around the outside of all this. All right, Ralphie, tell us when we're lined up. That looks pretty straight. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, right about there. That's pretty much it right there. I'm gonna put an extra bead around this before we clamp it down from the bottom. I'm even gonna put a bead around the inside of this. Okay, I think we got everything ready to bolt back up now. We're not torquing head bolts here, so just gotta compress the spring to keep tension on it. You can kind of see there now, we're not sagging in the middle of the roof anymore. I think that's key because we're gonna need the roof to drain away from the AC unit, not towards it. Well, we have been scraping, especially Tosh has been scraping and cleaning up here for days now. We're going to go over this, blow it all off, double check everything, and we're going to start caulking and sealing this roof. So here's what we're dealing with is we have this gray goo under here that's i guess whatever the factory uses on top of that looks like we have some sort of acrylic sealer up here as well but i will tell you this morning this would not hardly peel at all in this evening it's just like butter so do it in the heat of the day you gotta get this old stuff up or it's not gonna seal i could do it it's just tough not... isn't it yeah it's very... gotta do a lot of pressure on it Man, I've been working on this back for hours now to get around through here. Let me show you why you need to peel the old off. Cause look, this top layer, you know, it looked pretty white and nice. Look underneath it, how much water had got in there and molded and rotted everything. So you really need to rip the old out before you put new down. Well, many more hours and I've got all that scraped up there. Got it scraped all around the back. Wifey is cleaning with denatured alcohol, everything. And I'm going to pull these screws out of here because I realize it's got like drywall screws that are like two inches long. They stick down through the roof. So I'm going to pull them out 
and put these one inch screws in it and seal around this while it's out. Oh, we got a nice surprise here. Look at all the nastiness underneath this thing. So I gotta peel this off now. Clean it up, I thought I was done scraping. So we've got everything cleaned and scraped and all that stuff. So we're gonna start putting the caulk down. Ralphie wants to do the first little bit here. I'm glad the aluminum on here doesn't burn your skin off now. Yeah, yeah. there you go. How many tubes do you think we're gonna use? I don't know. So I'm going to wipe this down to cover these screw heads and stuff. We're gonna seal this whole thing up. Well, I made it all the way around there, around there, and down this side, and I patched some of the holes that we had in here, the little screw holes and stuff. And I have ran out of caulk, so Tosh just went to town to go get me some more. I'm gonna count up how many we use on this, cause it's a lot. Can you tell we've been stripping this roof? Look at this mess. And if you walk around this thing, it sticks to your shoes. So two laps around here and I'm six foot four. Got it. How many did you get? Nine, just in case. I used nine already. Look, my brand new reefs. Look at that. Can you I'll, believe that? I'll pick it off for you. You got a servant's heart. I know. If I see so much as one drip in this thing after this, I'm lighting it on fire. Okay, I think I finally made my complete lap around this thing. Is that it? I think that's it. It's uh, hopefully all sealed up now as far as the caulk goes. I went ahead and went around the back of this and left that tray open that I believe is the drain for the AC unit. Yeah. You like it, bud? Yeah. You might let us know in the comments what used to be there and here because we can't figure it out. Well, it looks like so far we've used 12 tubes of this stuff to try to seal that thing up. My hands are killing me. That's a lot of work. If anybody asks you to seal their RV roof one weekend, don't do it. Morning, Rocky. Well, it's the next morning now, so I'm going to go ahead with the leaf blower, try to dry this moisture off here, and we're going to put our first coat of this sealer on the roof. So I think we're ready now to charge the AC system. I will tell you that this fitting right here is not, it feels like it's about to strip out any second. Probably wouldn't recommend buying the cheapest one off Amazon. Okay, if we're running now, we got the AC system on max. Okay, so our compressor just get going our first pin here so we know what we're doing is work compressor will start running longer and longer the more refrigerant you get in it okay, so we're at can number five now we should be getting close to full now i'm going to put up an ac pressure chart on the screen now and that's what i'm going off of it's about 75 degrees out here so we're shooting for 35 to 45 on the low side 150 to 170 on the high side and we're only letting it in through the low side because the high side pressure is too high. You don't want that going back in your pan. So we're up to about 40, so this is our sixth can. We should be right there in the sweet spot. Air is nice and cold now. That's going to help on the trip. Oh, yeah. For sure. That's all there is to it. You can do it. Okay, we think we're ready now to coat it. This is the product we bought to coat it with. So you put a coat on all your seams. You wait an hour. You put a coat on the entire roof. And then I think you're supposed to wait 24 hours and then you put a second coat on it. That sound right to you? Mm -hmm. You want to stir it up for us? Is it thick in the bottom? I can't tell. You think we're good to go now? Yeah. Yeah, don't sling it now to get everywhere. So what we're going to do is put a coat over all our sealer and, and let it dry for an hour. And don't get cheap on me now, okay? Okay. Let her have it. That is so hot. You like getting up here? Yeah. There we go. We got a coat on all our sealer around here. We're gonna let this dry for an hour and uh, come back and coat the whole thing. Well, here's a quick tip. You can always wrap your paintbrushes in some press and seal 
if you're gonna use them the next day or so, keeps them from drying out. I struggled to get this thing up the ladder. That was harder than the ACT was for me. Wait, we're gonna go put a coat on this now over the entire thing. Yeah, go ahead. Well, there we go. Me and Ralphie got the whole thing coated once, so that wasn't too bad. I can barely look at it. It's so bright now, but we're going to let this sit 24 hours, and we'll come back tomorrow and seal this. But until then, let's go work on something else. I want to put a new end on our power cord. So this has a 30 amp service. This is what you're going to need. G for green, W for white, and the other one's your black wire. No big deal to put on. We got it all hooked up, and that's all it takes to hook that thing up. So I'm gonna be trying to get these cabinets painted. I'm gonna tape them up and do a little spray paint on them. Now we're gonna be working on the old poop chute here. So this is our clean outs here. One side is gonna have your gray water, and the other side is gonna have your black water. And the reason why we went with a single clean out is that way you only have to hook the hose up once. You can flush out the black water side, which is gross, and then go back with the gray water side, and that cleans out your pipe, keeps everything uh, a lot cleaner that way. This is what we're starting with. We have these couplers from Lowe's, these three inch rubber couplers, and some three inch 90s, and I got some three inch PVC here. We're just gonna have to cut the pipe into three pieces, and then we're gonna have to make some sort of support here to hold this up. It's supposed to be for the cows, Rocky. I believe I'm gonna bring it over all the way to here. That way this isn't hanging out here. I'm gonna cut a short piece of PVC and put in there to clamp it. Put another piece here and a 90 degree elbow right out here going to that one. So we have one, two, three pieces of PVC. I'm gonna eat the shavings off that. Look, look what I got figured out. Oh, we got a pooper stuff going on. Look, it's even the right spot. It's even Yay. labeled. So that's what we figured out there. We're just going to have to glue our PVC joints and make some sort of support out here for this. And we'll have all that hooked up. Mom approved? Yes. Who's this puppy? It's a visitor. He's oh, a we, got a visiting, yeah. we got a visiting guest here. I believe I'm going to take a strap from right here down underneath this pipe and back around to hold it up. Because it's definitely going to need some support. It's going to break right off here. Rocky's back to inspect my work. I, hopefully I did a good enough job for him here. Well, guess I passed inspection. So I think next we're going to work some more on this paneling in here while the roof is drying. I'm, I'm kind of dreading the hallway one because it's at an angle. But the rest of them look pretty basic to do. Don't you think, Ralph? Yeah. Maybe I should just put a seat belt in there so you can ride there or go another road. Okay, Ralphie. Well, let's work on making a countertop. Hold that in the corner back right about there. Sometimes I cut corners. Let's see if I got my measurements right. Look at that. Fancy. What matter? Just gonna probably paint it. Yeah. We'll just paint that. That's a lot cheaper than buying a whole new countertop. Uh, for sure. 63 and a half. There you go, squeeze. At least Ralphie had a lizard pencil we could use to do this. Is that a hole right there? Yeah, it's factory. Glue it and screw it. All right, we got our liquid nails here. Probably gonna be the only thing holding this camper together when we get done. What was that? Air in it or something? Yeah, sometimes you get an air pocket. You ever had an air pocket? Me? Yeah. Where? It kind of tucks under right here. Yeah, we forgot to drill the hole for the wiring. So 
we're gonna put screws every five inches in place. What inches? Sorry, inches. Yeah, ninety and a half. Okay. So that's seven inches from the wall there. Glue it and screw it. All right, well that's really solid now. This was so flimsy before. Well, it's been 24 hours. We're back up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on our final coat and I'll be so glad to be off this roof. Well, there we go. We got the whole thing coated. So hopefully we won't have any leaks. If we do, we'll take a bucket with us. Uh, something you might want to add to this that I added was a couple drops of sweat into it. Uh, there's lots of sweat in this coating. I really think that's gonna help it seal even better. I'm gonna prime the PVC pipe side. Uh, then we're gonna put the cement on both pieces and get it ready to go in. The ABS doesn't get primed, so we're just gonna put the cement in there, push it all the way in there, and then give it like a quarter of a turn. There, so I think I'm just gonna put some silicone around it to seal it, just in case we have any imperfections. Okay, we got both our connections made to our storage tanks now. Now we're gonna connect these pipes. I got a jack stand out here just to hold everything up until we get our support brace made. Okay, we're making our support straps now. Now we can take our jack stand out and that's held up. I may end up putting a couple more in different places just to hold it for sure. Okay, there we are with my completed install with the hangers. I'd like to have another hanger here, but the only thing above it is that tank. So we're just gonna risk it for the biscuit on that. Hopefully it doesn't pop off there and all our poop go flying down the interstate you know that's exciting I would that would be that. awesome that would be, be a sight fantastic. at least we wouldn't have to empty it then yeah. right, i'm gonna make a piece of plywood to go up here for our front bed because this is all rotted out looks like 90 and a half will this fit no possible way so what i'm thinking is taking the side window out Perfect. Okay, so we got that stuck in there. Now I'm gonna make another one to go right here that'll be removable where we can stand up while we're driving, I guess, is what we're <laughs> gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, this would not have fit any other way. Does it fit? Yeah. A little tight? There you go. Now it fits. We just need Ralphie power. <laughs> yeah. I'll sleep on the table. Okay. <laughs> And me and Ralphie and the kids here are going to tear this thing apart and see if it can fit inside the space we have to work with, right? So now that we got the flux capacitor completely unhooked, we'll set it over to the side and then unbolt the engine off the frame. You know, there's always that one wire you forgot. There you go. There's all the pieces once you get them. Most everything you need is an 8 millimeter. There is uh, four 13 millimeter bolts for the engine mounts, but the most room we have is 13 inches, but this steps down over here, 15 inches there. So we definitely should be able to fit this thing. We're probably going to have to weld a pipe on here to turn the exhaust out and underneath the motorhome. So we could just cut that muffler off and straight pop it, and then we won't have to worry about people camping next to us. You're crazy. Once again, we put construction adhesive all over the back of it, and we're putting one inch sharp point screws every five inches.
Look at that, it fit in there. I can't believe it. So we had trouble with the screws in the center grabbing anything solid, so we propped it up there, gonna let that glue dry, and maybe, we'll cross our fingers, maybe this will work. I take back everything I said about my wife's family. But I am gonna go ahead and drill a hole in our shroud here, which I measured it out to be about right about there. Perfect. You can't turn white plastic into yellow plastic without a little bit of nicotine. Watch this, honey. Oh my gosh. Let's look at that. Done. Oh, genius. So you're gonna go ahead and paint the countertop now? Yes. Yeah. Silk on this thing, screw it back in there, call it good. the generator now i've decided that i'm going to cut the top off of this and then we're going to cut this off at the top of the handles and that should give us enough room to get that thing in there with some modification of that bottom tray let's void some warranties ralphie we may be able to use that as our exhaust pipe This floor didn't step up right there. There we go. Look at all the space we'll have now, Ralphie. Yeah. We got to straighten this bracket out. Look at that, Ralphie. Now we just got to reassemble the generator, come up with some sort of fuel pump. be there's our plug right there and our pull starts right here so our exhaust is going to come out this way which i knew was not going to work so i'm going to take this the top handle we cut off of it and weld it onto this muffler to get our exhaust away from it i marked it right here i'm going to go ahead and mig weld that up i feel like i'm making a header for a go-kart or something there we go we got our pipe installed we cross threaded the engine down on the plate only thing we have left to do is do our fuel supply and we'll be done so I've got this little cheap 12 volt fuel pump in the shop and I think I'm gonna run it. I can smell it. So since we don't have room for the factory fuel tank, we have to put a tank that will gravity feed there. So we've got this tank here off of a different Predator engine. I'm gonna mount it here. I'm gonna be looking for a bigger tank because obviously this doesn't have the capacity we need. Uh, we should be able to fit one about three times as big in the spot where the battery went for the original generator. Okay, we got our gas tank full now. We're gonna see if this thing will crank up and work for us. Look at that, we got our fan running. Now we got our AC running. We can heat up some chicken nuggies while we're waiting. It's not that loud in here, though, is it? Mm -mm. It's not bad at all. Mm -mm. I could fall asleep to that. That works perfect. We, we probably do need to come up with a little bit bigger fuel tank, but I am beat. This thing has really been hard on us. Like, we have been working from, like, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day for, like, what now? A week, week or something? Yeah. Like, we are totally beat. This is a ton of work. If you're going to get into renovating please, a motor home, please. you better have some time on your hands. In the winter time. In the winter time, yeah. Because I'm telling you, it's a ton of work working on a motor home. It's like it? an oven. It's a bad time of year to do this outside. But we'll get back at this tomorrow. What do you think about it? Oh, you know he'll inspect it. He probably liked it better before. He's ready to go camping is what he's wanting to do. Oh, Lord. Mama's going to be so mad at you. Rocky. No. 
Next morning, we're butt back crack, out here. Butt crack of dawn. Yes. I'm gonna start cutting some of these shorter pieces of paneling, but it's looking a lot better in here. Smells a lot better. Smells, yeah. yeah I wish this was <laughs> smell-o-vision, because it does smell a lot better than what it did. Hey, it held up there. That seems to have worked. That's incredible. I can maybe put this one up by myself for the first time. All right, we're up in the very front of the cab now. I'm gonna make a piece of paneling to go around this curve. All right, we got that put in there, screwed up there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do there because there's nothing to attach it to but foam. I guess I could construction adhesive it and glue it in place. I guess I'm gonna tackle this big bad section here, which is what I've kind of been avoiding because it's all angles, but gotta do it at some point. Everybody's out today. You guys are up early, huh? Morning, girl. Huh? Well, after cutting one backwards and then cutting apart my generator box to make a pattern and then still cutting it not exactly right, I finally, finally got it to where it fits. So we're going to glue it and screw it. Oh, it feels nice to put the last big piece in here. Well, there we go. We got almost every bit of our paneling put up except for the little tiny strip up here at the front. We're waiting on our lights still. We ordered lights like two weeks ago and we still have not got them in. So that'll probably be in a future video. You love it? It looks yeah. so much better now, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, still, it's so much better now, right? I'm gonna try to glue both edges since that's the only thing that's gonna be touching. And then we'll put some screws in and hopefully that'll hold it there. I <laughs> think I can get up there on my foot. Hey, crooked toes. Oh yeah. There you go, we got it installed. I also went ahead with a piece of spare paneling and patched up the vent for the back of the refrigerator so we can keep all the bought air in. And we got our Osco cooler in here. It's gonna double as a seat, I believe. So we had some issues here where our cabinets, they were the worst water damaged ones of the bunch because this is like a really bad leak spot. So I just ended up making this like open storage and I put a little lip on it so stuff won't fly out of there. So our new water pump came in the mail today. Basically the same pump, just a little bit newer. So I'm gonna try to attach this thing so we'll have no more leaks. Okay, we got them out. It looks like they have the same fittings, but the design's a little different. Of course. This flows a little bit more water, but it's pretty simple two-wire hookup. It looks like the power goes through this pressure switch. Well, it's a really simple hookup. You just have your two lines here. They were just hand tight and two wires and you're done. All right, let's see if our new pump works. Hey, it's working. Sink's working. Yeah, we got water, so that worked. Awesome. Well, we got our bed in here, got all that done. It's uh, looking really homey in here now. <laughs> it, have you been on Pinterest again? No. Okay. No. So we'll give you a final walkthrough here of everything. We got all our cabinets painted, put back on. The pieces of paneling that we cut out up there, we're using them in here just as like a cutting board or whatever. Got our Osco cooler in here with our seat belt, so it's gonna be a seat for somebody, whoever's in trouble is gonna get in the no-no spot over here. 
our cushions washed and put back in and got the girls bed up here they got some rope lights they're gonna hook up we're still waiting on our lights like i said so we gotta wait to get them just wanted to give you a walk through of it here and show where it's at now and we got our icy cold ac hey got our microwave that's all we need to cook around here exactly. i mean Period. what else do you need to heat your vineyards up than a microwave <laughs> Yeah, that makes it stable, yeah. Never fall. Right. Never. That should have been a factory installed thing. Yep. After all this work, this feels like a two RC cola evening for <laughs> sure. We can't open them in the motorhome. We'll ruin our brand new interior in there. It's 96 today. 100% humidity too. Man, it feels a lot better in here with the AC blowing, but we realize we're not completely done with this motorhome, obviously. We have more work to do. The next video you'll see on this, we're gonna do the brakes and do all the tune-up stuff to the engine, check out our casings and everything, our, our differential oil, and get all the driveline stuff ready to go on a trip in this thing. We plan on taking it on a trip here in the next week or two. That's why we were working so fast on this thing. I realized you could have took more time and you know got it, you know, perfect or whatever, but that's not what we were shooting for. You know, we're just wanting to get this thing knocked out before the summer is over so we can go on a big trip with it. But we're really excited that we got most of the inside work done. But the roof was the big thing, you it know. It's terrible. Terrible. It was a real, real big deal. But we were learning as we were going with this thing. We did not know how all this stuff worked and we just had to figure it out. But that's how you learn, right? We really planned on the 74 Mini Winnie being our camper for this summer on a trip. And I'd actually started ordering parts for it to get it going, but then we lost oil pressure driving to that car show. So probably not a good idea to take it across the country with no oil pressure. But if you like videos like this, I know it's a little different. I hope you guys like it. Uh, not our usual videos. It was much more mom working on this one. A lot more mom in this video, but don't worry. We'll be doing more Will It Start videos. We'll be doing more updates on the cars you're familiar with already. Uh, we got to get some brakes working on some of the old cars around here and got to get some of our little drag car projects going and get to the racetrack this summer as well. It's too bad we can't pour one out for our homies in That's here. Got pour one out on my floor. Mom will get really mad. I know. But if you like the camper stuff, please let us know in the comments. If we did something wrong, which I know we probably did something wrong, tell us in the comments because, you know, we would like to know if we need to change something before we go on a trip in it. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... SleeperDude88. Exactly. But you can check us out on our second channel at... SleeperDude2. We put up a lot of shorter videos there. It's mostly what we do, not really long stuff. It's going to be more behind the scenes stuff. We do our fan mail on that channel. Uh, we're really excited about going on a trip in this thing we plan on taking it on a few trips this summer as long as we don't run into any big issues with it but you're wanting to sleep in the driveway yeah i sleep in it what about you guys what do you think i'll sleep in it it's i'll awesome. sleep in it or, did you expect it to be this good no, no i feel like, like i feel like the know. smell would be like non-bearable i like, feel like it would be like, like cheap, it'd be though. itchy and i'd, I'd fall cheapy. off and yeah yeah <laughs> Well, so it's better than you expected. It is a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But remember, eat your vainas, drink your RC colas. It's health food. It's the same as vegetables. It's just facts. Make sure you subscribe. That helps us out. She wants you to, to subscribe. Yes. Is that all? Ring the bell. Smash uh, that like button. Oh, uh, well, you're such oh YouTubers. We really appreciate you guys watching. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you. And thank you for all you do and supporting us. We'll see you in future videos. Thanks a lot. See you later. I like it. it's got a 460 in it. <laughs> of course you do. I love my 460s. What can you say? We can't forget Rocky and Vainia. Oh, come on, now. now, Rocky's the only one that usually will eat these. Mmm, that's that good Vainia, isn't it? Mmm, hmm You gotta tell them bye, Rocky. We can't finish the video out without you in it. You want the juice? Should we pour one out for my homies there? You just want the juice? Mmm, that's good. That is good stuff. We didn't forget you. Here you go. You're gonna break the bottle one day. Mm-hmm. She just can't get enough of that RC Cola. There you go, girl.
Wimp mode. Tell him bye. Tell him bye, Rocky. She thinks she can nurse my pants, huh?